Hello, everyone. This is Nicole with Diana Initiative, and I am back once again with Hacker Summer Camp 101. And today we have Serum with us. Hello, all. Serum from Fish Stories here. So, Fish Stories, that is a contest, right? What exactly happens during it? Well, it's a virtual pre con contest that starts around mid May and wraps up towards the end of June, early July. And it's a contest where participants are tasked with creating phishing emails that target fictional company employees. So the goal is to get one of those targets to click while also making us judges laugh along the way. We create a scenario and give everyone some background information on potential targets to help them craft their entries. And contestants must also provide a one-page backstory that gives the details of the approach and what happens after that unsuspecting target actually clicks on the link. We rate all entries on six different categories. So it's email clickability, use of provided sources, what happens after the click, and email humor, backstory humor, and then just overall creativity. And there are three winners in this contest. Those winners receive free entry to DEF CON, which is really cool. The wizard, which is the best technical and most clickable email. So you think of your more traditional, like I'm trying to get you kind of fish. The jester who provides us with the funniest entry, and this can be anything all over the map. We've had tons of really interesting entries. And then the ruler, because the ultimate thing you're trying to do is actually combine both, both humor and clickability. So we're trying to create that urgency for a click along with making people laugh. And our tagline is actually make them click, make us laugh, win a badge, or the very short one is click, laugh, win. Uh, we've been going at it for about two years, and I'm really excited about the next scenario. It's going to be a good one. I mean, that you're exercising a lot of skills right there. You've got a little bit of like figuring out your research and your targeting. Then you've actually got some creative writing in there. And DEF CON badges are not cheap. So that is a really decent prize you've got going there. Yeah, no, it's 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 definitely really cool. You know, I I, I kind of modeled the initial contest after the the idea of the short story contest, which is also a pre-con contest, but I wanted to make it a little more accessible to more people because it's not I love the short story contest. I enter it every year, but it's not something that someone can just roll out of bed and start working on and be done with in, you know, a couple of days. So this is a little bit different in terms of shorter, but you have to do your research and actually read the background information. But we we give you kind of a starter instead of leaving it wide open like the short story contest is. So speaking of accessibility, is there any kind of restriction if I am a kid and I'm not 18 yet, can I still participate? You can play. Anybody can participate in this. So the scenario is most likely always going to be PG or veer towards PG or kid friendly. Participants have the freedom to go whatever direction they want to. While some humor can be a little dark and we've gotten that, our actually our last two jester winners took an approach that was definitely what I would consider more lighthearted. We had a dancing llama named Larry that made an appearance in the most recent round and in the first iteration of this, our jester actually came up with a dating show for bakers. And both of them were pretty, pretty funny. And they, they were definitely PG. So, you know, if we've got kids that want to enter, the entries are all over the map and kids tend to have their own brand of humor, shall we say. And we would definitely welcome that participation as well. And so it sounds like if I'm brand new and maybe I don't do phishing emails at my day job and this is just something that I've heard about, I also could kind of dive in and give this a go. Oh, yeah. So we've provided basically a couple different pathways. So I talked a little bit about the wizard, which is a more technical, like I, I really want to make sure I get somebody to click. And then the jester so that we could open it up to people that maybe don't have the same amount of experience, but maybe they're good at writing or maybe they have a great sense of humor. Uh, and just are creative and want to participate in a DEF CON contest. This allows both, and while we're looking for the overall winner that can, can combine both, we have winners in both the technical and the humor categories. So other than just submitting by the due date, there's no technology or tools or anything that I'm required to have, just computer and submit following the instructions. Yes, bring your creativity, cleverness, and a healthy sense of humor. 
and just submit on time, please. And I think next time I will be a little more explicit in the amount of words that I will allow entries to provide because we ended up having a few that were drastically over the almost one page limit. So I'm going to change that a bit for this next go around. As someone who does CFPs for various events, yeah, sometimes you just got to put that hard bound on there. <laughs> so if this is my first time, where should I go, like read things, find out things so that I could participate in Fish Stories? So I, I would say if you happen to have a chance to read a book like maybe The Art of Deception by Kevin Mitnick, that might give you some background on understanding the psychology behind the human element of fishing if you're completely new to it. Although everybody's been hit with a fish, you know, and in fact, when I first came up with this idea, the thing that triggered it in my head was thinking back to the old days when the fish were so bad that. Uh, you know, it was like, oh, there's some Nigerian prince, you've inherited this thing. And, uh, you know, they were just so bad, so obvious, but they made me laugh. And that's kind of what spurred the overall idea of this was how can we combine the ridiculous with the technical? So gaining some knowledge on the technical aspects helps, but it's not a prerequisite to crafting a winning email. Another way you could probably learn something is if you're, if you happen to have a corporate job or a job where they do fish testing, like campaigns, Get to know the group that does that. Maybe you're already part of that group. That would be perfect. But if you're not, it could be a career a blessing in disguise from a career perspective because you go talk to them, find out how they create their campaigns, what they're trying to target, and why they're doing what they're doing because that can kind of help you a little bit as well. Reading the scenarios when you actually get into the contest is great, but if, if it hasn't been released yet, look at the old ones that are posted in the DEF CON forums. You can see a lot of the material that we've put together in terms of things like LinkedIn profiles, social media posts, magazine articles, newspaper articles, get an idea of, you know, kind of the things that we were, we were looking for there. But really just being creative and knowing how to fill in the blanks is a large part of winning. Let your own brand of humor kind of shine through. Like I said, we laugh at all kinds from, from the cheeky to, to the dark. And finally, it is a writing contest. So brush up on your writing skills as well, because it is important that you check the spelling and get the grammar right, unless you're purposely trying to mess it up to be funny. So we do appreciate that as well. I do have to say thanks to AI, the spelling mistakes in the phishing email yeah. I get has decreased. Very much so, yes. <laughs> Now, like, do you get together with anyone or sell anything? Like if, so everyone's won or lost, you know, not everyone can win. And you're actually at DEF CON. Does everybody like get together to kind of compare and laugh at everything or just have like a, we like phishing emails, you know, meet up? So we haven't done that yet after the first couple of years, but we did talk about it this past year. And I think with the change in venue and not really knowing where things were and all that, I mm -hmm. wasn't sure exactly how and where to set something up, but I'm really hoping to set something up at DEF CON 33, probably at the Fontaine Blue in, in the bar area or something, just to kind of get together with fellow creatives and understand, you know, how they came up with their ideas and just mix and mingle. Cause you know, when I do meet, usually I meet the winners you know, when they're there and they're just a really fun group of people to, to get to know, just talk about, you know, how excited they were and, and get perspective on their background and kind of, you know, how did you come up with that idea? It was just, it's pretty cool. So I think, you know, getting people together and over a couple of drinks and just kind of talking would be a lot of fun. So I, I would like to, to do something like that. And as far as gear, while I am kind of a walking billboard in this interview right now, we did not have anything for sale. I may change that next year. This is a one, one and only unique cap. Although I did make a few of these t-shirts for DEF CON 32 and they have the tagline on the back of click, laugh, win. So, so you're one of those ladies with the, the scrolling sign type of thing. <laughs> Yeah, because it was good. So the toughest part of, of the contest is the promotion. So I'm actually very thankful to 
have the chance to to kind of get it out in front of noobs doing things like this. I hit every social media platform possible over the six, seven weeks of the contest. Post, trying not to annoy people because, you know, hackers can be annoyed by overpromotion. So I was like, how do I thread this needle? And I think I found a decent mix, but I'm always looking for different ways to kind of get the word out with bugging people too much. Awesome. And I mean, stickers, everyone loves stickers. So if you kind of yes. had maybe a fundraiser with stickers, I bet people would. That would be good. Yeah. I got, I did give away a hundred stickers this last year, but uh, that was up from 10 the year before. So maybe I go to a thousand in DEF CON 33 and we really start working it. All right. So how, like you kind of explained a couple of years ago, you were inspired how did you get into doing this? How did you actually become a contest? Is there anybody else that's kind of helping you out run this? So let's see. This was probably, what was it, DEF CON 30? I happened to win the creative writing contest, short story contest that year. And was sitting around talking with a guy that I used to work with at a bar and he was talking about wanting to do a presentation at Black Hat. And I said, oh, I really think it would be kind of fun to run a contest. And I kind of rolled off. My initial idea was around, hey, I just want to take the, you know, get people to have a contest of who can write the the just silliest email. That was that was kind of my initial idea. And he loved it right off the bat. And then I, I kind of took it home and just kind of chewed on it a little bit and called up my partner, Hexlor who does the contest with me along with, I have, I have another participant as well. My wife is actually on the panel, but we, you know, I was talking to Hexler. He's, he's been more on the technical side of things. And he said, you know, the, the crowd tends to be more technical. Are you really going to get enough participation? And so he kind of turned me on to the idea of, you know what, why don't we do a traditional, why don't we do both? We could do a traditional phishing email with, you know, rating the technical, the click clickability urgency, and we can have the funny parts and then we can try to combine them. And then that's when I came up with the idea of, okay, we can do a wizard, a jester, a ruler. And then I submitted and it was kind of funny because after I submitted it the first year for DEF CON 31, I didn't hear back for quite some time. And I thought, oh, it must be, it must have passed. But then all of a sudden, Nikita wrote me out of the blue and said, oh, you, you're you in. And I was like, oh, I'm like, awesome. Thank you. But it was like, oh, now I got to get my crap together because uh, <laughs> I didn't really know that we were going to get accepted as a contest. And it, it did it did take off. It took a while, though, because it was like the timing of being accepted as a contest and how much time we had before the contest would end was like right up against it so this last year was a lot easier because i was super prepared i'm like okay this date's gonna hit and i can post this and then do that but that first year was kind of like flying by the seat of my pants like can i get help i had tcmbc who i meet with on defcon movie night i i told him about it and he helped me out with with getting some posts up and, and utilizing the platform so there were a few things that i needed a little bit of help with nikita was was helpful Caves was super helpful and and Grifter then helped out towards the end when when we had to you know kind of get everything put together at the very end right before before Defcon but yeah lots of lots of people things happening in the in the back end and some of it is just just go ahead and try it I give that advice to anybody when it comes to if they have a contest idea write it down follow the little format on the form and submit it and you might just get it get it accepted i didn't get a lot I, they they accepted it as is but i think you know they say that you can do uh, some back and forth to help them ref help you refine the contest if if needed so i do bounce a question here and there every once in a while off of them and for anyone who has not helped arrange a contest or an event it is wild and crazy behind the scenes so for every thing you see just know that there's usually a small army of people working a ridiculous amount of time to make that happen yes so you mentioned you have all the social media like which social medias do you have what name are they under and which one is kind of like 
the one you definitely babysit the most. So Twitter slash X is the one that I I just happen to have the most because I have the most followers on it. And so that's the one where I, I keep it up to date the most. Reddit. So Twitter is at fish stories, just one word. Reddit is you slash fish stories. I tr- I'm trying blue sky. So at fish stories that be sky dot social. I have Mastodon account, but it's under my alias serum. So it's at serum at defcon dot social. Uh, and then on discord, you can just reach me serum and, and find that. But the best place, if you want to look just for how the contest is run itself, just go to the forums on defcon. They're all it's all contained within the forum area. But if you want to get a hold of me, you can also just write an email, fishstories at protonmail.com, and uh, I will respond ASAP. And for anyone who doesn't know, the DEF CON forum, you can read those posts without creating a login. If that's something you're like, Ugh, I don't want another login. So I highly recommend going to the DEF CON forums at least to read about the contests and the villages and everything because you do not need to log in. But creating a login is a great way to be able to ask questions or chat with people. So I guess last pitch. So when, you know, February, March, April comes around, you know, why should people start like looking forward to this contest and you know, making sure that they put this on their calendar. Yeah. So, I mean, I always tell people, you know, well, let's put it this way. Once DEF CON ends, there's always kind of a little bit of a vacuum and you're like, oh man, what happened to DEF CON? I want, I want to be at DEF CON again. And you got to wait a whole year before DEF CON starts. Well, you know, I always tell people, get your DEF CON started early. You know, with, with fish stories, you can, you can start participating in May. So you've got, you know, three months before DEF CON actually starts. And don't be intimidated. It's only a couple pages of writing, and you might just win yourself free entry into the into the convention. So remember, click, laugh, and win. Awesome. And I hope everybody considers this and at least goes and reads your scenarios, even if they decide not to compete. And so we will put in the show notes the link for everyone to find you on the forum and X and Reddit and so on and so forth. Thank you so much for coming on. Awesome. Thank you.